How y'all doing? Isn't this an incredible event? Give it up for David and the team. I mean, this is just... I'm so inspired, and I'm not a comedian. I'm not a stand-up comedian. I'm not even a good sit-down comedian. I'm more like a sit-down-and-shut-up kind of comedian. But basically, I'm 12 years old. I, I might not look it, but where it counts, inside, I'm, I'm 12 years old. And I like to play. Now, I'm actually 52. And when I was younger, I remember thinking what 52 would look like. And I thought, that's old. I don't know if the times have changed or if it's just that it's all in our attitude. But I'm not stopping until the day I die and I'm going to be 12 inside. How about you? <laughs> there is a movement out there that I fear for some of our young people because they're being taught these two words to an extreme. Hustle and grind. You got to get up early in the morning before the sun comes up. You got to be at the office before the rest of the people pull into the parking lot. You got to get more done before 9 a.m. than your competition because that guy's standing right behind you and he wants to steal your milk money. I think it's a dangerous, dangerous attitude. There's nothing wrong with working hard. But one of my friends, Warren Whitlock, frequently says, if you can tell the difference between in your, your work and your play, you're not doing one of them right. And so I like to obliterate this whole hustle and grind mentality in the way that I work because everything I do ties into how I choose to play. And in order to minimize the amount of time you have to listen to me, I've got some videos that I want to show you today. Let's go ahead and put up on the, uh, the screen, please. If you need to clear a room fast, or just make someone laugh, I fart for the iPhone, maybe just what you're looking for. Select any of the sounds. Click the fart now button. And if you want to embarrass, say the crap out of someone, you can do that too. With a sneak attack, set your timer, place it next to your victim, and walk away. And after the timer goes off, it'll play the sound that you select. Worried about someone using your phone without your permission? Don't be. With a security fart, there's a five second timer. You walk away, if someone picks up your phone, they'll hear your sound. There may be other fart apps out there, but with new features like Sound Recorder, Fart a Friend, and many more, iFart changes everything. Even the ladies in the house love that. You know, they, they, won't be, they won't admit up front, but yes. The first thing that I want you to know is that we can't be afraid to take chances. I am forever labeled as the iFart guy because I made this app. I, that's, I think that's pretty funny. And people want to know, is my mom proud of me? And yes, she very much is. For those of you that don't know, this app was pretty explosive. Pun, pun one. Thank you. Uh, it went to the top of the iTunes App Store in 2008 and into 2009. It stayed at the number one slot in the world for three weeks. Ended up getting coverage on the, uh, the Today Show. Kathy Lee Gifford played one of them and, and just cracked up and said, that makes me so happy. That just makes my day. There's a testimonial for you. Uh, it even got me onto Jon Stewart's Daily Show because we were sued, get this, by a competing fart app called <laughs> Pull My Finger. And they don't like the fact that we knocked them off the top of the charts and blasted them into obscurity and had used the phrase, pull my finger in our marketing. And so when they sent us a letter saying, you owe us money because we had already net something like a quarter of a million from this app, um, Instead of going, oh no, we have to keep this quiet, what do we do about it? I called my attorney and says, we need to get publicity from this, right? And he said, absolutely. And so we sued back with a federal court in Colorado, and we put it out there to the media, and of course it blew up. Uh, it was a legal stink. 
can I get a rim shot in here somewhere or something? But it's... And John Stewart's uh, gang got wind of it. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> Grown. No more, I promise. Maybe. And uh, they put me and the competing app onto the show. And you know, if you go on John Stewart's Daily Show, you know you're going to get skewered, right? You just, you know you're walking into the lion's den. And they made the other guy look horrible, and I came out as the hero, which is why I say that I farted and came out smelling like a rose. <laughs> yeah. Some people leave a mark in history, I left a skid mark. All right, no more of those. Let's talk about another story here I want to share with you about being playful and having fun. This is a ka-ching button. It was made to go along with a book that I wrote called Ka-ching, and along the way we created an iPhone application that was submitted to the iTunes App Store. Let me show you what happened when the app was rejected. This is 2011. Steve Jobs was still with us and the current CEO of Apple. Hey Steve, this is Joel Kamm. I'm an entrepreneur. I entrepreneurize. I'm also an iPhone developer. Love the iPhone. Steve, congratulations on the CEO of the decade. Decade. Really happy that you're in better health and back at the helm. I'm a big fan of Apple. iMac. Mouse. Big fan. Steve, this is a brilliant device and I was one of the ones that paid $600 for one. Gladly. This is now my third phone, the 3GS. I'm an application developer. I vote, Hammer Time, and the now world famous iFart Mobile. <laughs> Steve, iFart is perhaps the most referenced iPhone application in the world. One year after it came out, everybody's still talking about it. Steve, I'm appealing to you on behalf of developers everywhere. We love developing for the iPhone. Love it. But we're frustrated with the approval process. We could spend a lot of time, resources, energy, money into creating an app only to have it rejected by one of the reviewers. This is a ka-ching button. We recently submitted an app based on the ka-ching button to the App Store. Everybody loves ka-ching. Ka-ching is money. However, after submitting the Kaching button, I received this email. We've reviewed your application, the Kaching button, and we've determined that this application contains minimal user functionality, minimal user functionality, and will not be appropriate for the App Store. But let's take a look at some of the similar applications that have been approved into the App Store. The Hallelujah button. The Woo button. Who could forget snow? Eye eyes. Hold the button. And then of course there's the infamous knock on wood. So we sent an appeal in and received the reply. As was stated previously, we've reviewed your application, the Kaching button, and have determined that the application contains minimal user functionality and will not be appropriate for the App Store. Not appropriate. Hello. Anybody home? Steve, I only have one thing to say. Objection. And with over 100,000 apps in the App Store, many have very little user functionality, but the Kaching button has at least that of some of the apps that I've shown you. Why, Steve? Why? 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 On behalf of developers everywhere, we're looking for consistency in the app review process. It's not asking much to have the process be fair and more transparent so that we know what's going on. Remember, we're investing our time, money, and resources into helping build your platform for all of us. So, what do you say, Steve? Is the ka-ching button in? Thanks for your time. Humor is a great way to overcome obstacles. A lot of people, when they would encounter a rejection from Apple, go, oh, well, they won't accept it. What do we do now? I created this short video, did it in an afternoon, edited it together, put a press release off to TechCrunch saying that Apple was not being fair in terms of telling us what is going to be approved and what won't be. TechCrunch picked it up, uh, Mashable picked it up, got all over the news. Video got something like 50,000 views that week. And you want to know what happened? It got approved, of course it did. Persistence and a little bit of ingenuity and playfulness. And I happen to know that back then, when uh, Steve was at the helm, that he liked to see everything that was being said about Apple. So, 
in my own mind, I like to believe that he saw this video and laughed and said, give him the thumbs up. So using humor is a great way to overcome obstacles. And just as a brand itself, we've already discovered today that being playful is such a great way to connect with people. And as you can tell, I'm a big fan of video. And I discovered something a couple of years ago, and I put together this video that had uh, quite an impact. So, okay, I just got back from Safeway. Last time, like, we don't even have to say that. I was food. It was like 19 years ago. So, and I actually so made the sales official. <laughs> I could not believe seeing this. Oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah. I just got back from the store, and. and uh, Holy mother of all good things. All right, wait. No, before, I, before I show you. Just the stuff. Oh, I don't want to show you shit. So I'm going to cook you. It's just like cookies with the, uh, the, the white filling. Yes. And all the stuff they have in them. They've got the regular ones. They've got the double stuff recently. They've got the mega stuff, and now they're making all these different ones. And so I'm shopping, and I'm like, this, this is a dream. Look at this. <laughs> it's freaking just the stuff. So I, I, mean, I don't even know what the stuff is. I don't even know how much sugar is in this. But it's like actually a jar of the freaking stuff. And I don't even know to put it on. So I'm just going to, like, we don't have any cookies in the house, too, is that? No. <laughs> you can't speak, you know. So, oh, it's hermetically sealed. I could not believe seeing this. Oh my gosh. Holy mother of all good things. Just the stuff. Ah, it's like diabetes in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> My son stole the show, Zach, you know, he whispers, it's like diabetes in a jar. Uh, when I posted this video of this jar that I found, people went to their grocer and said, I, I got to have just the stuff. And their grocer said, what? Just the stuff. Well, what I didn't tell you is that I posted this video on April 1st. There is no stuff. Although there should be. I wrote to Nabisco, I said, why is there not stuff here? And people actually went to the store to try to get this. <laughs> Bless you. How does this help my business? It's all personal branding. It's letting people know this is who I am. This is what I'm all about. And playfulness and humor attract people. People want to laugh so desperately. There's so much crap happening out there in the world. And, you know, if you read the news or, you know, read the papers or watch the news, let's turn it off, okay? Here's my soapbox moment. Just turn that stuff off because they are there to sell us fear so that we buy toilet paper and toothpaste. I think you all understand how to go to the store and get that without being afraid. And honestly, if we just fill ourselves with things that are positive and helpful and good and fun, we have a better attitude ourselves. And I refuse to let the stuff the world foists on me to, to bring me down. I'm going to stay 12 and have a good time. Thank you so much. Yeah, by the way, this is some, some of you have snapped me already. This is a legit snap code, so you can actually snap my shirt. Who's got questions? Snap it up and snap it out. So, Hi. to follow up on your last point about the, there's depress, all this depressing stuff in the news and everything, a number of the clients I work with are nonprofits that are working on really serious, um, often depressing issues. So, for example, some of my nonprofit clients are homeless, homeless serving organizations. How would you recommend using humor and fun and playfulness to advanced social issues or how to, or how to um, talk about really serious issues and work. Yeah, well, clearly there's a space for it. I think we've seen better examples of that from, uh, from some of the presenters this afternoon. Uh, I, one of my favorite answers is I don't know without exploring that one issue. But, you know, when you're getting into those sensitive issues, it's, it's a little bit like a minefield, isn't it? And if you're dealing with those issues, you kind of have to be up to speed on what's happening in the world for those issues. 
think we have one right there. Other questions for Jim Joe? Right here? Ready? Shh, 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 shh. Were you funny when you were 12? What did I do? I'm sorry? Were you funny when you were 12? I was funny looking. I don't know. You know, I was, I, I was your, your prototype uh, awkward uh, teenager. Huh. And awkward really all the way up to about 51. So, yeah. <laughs> I noticed that a lot of your humor comes through video and Snapchat's very video oriented and it seems like it's really on the rise. So I'm wondering like how much do you think that video has been integral to your success? Like if this was all just text, would how much would that have taken away from Great your... question. I've been actually building sites online since ninety five and, and wasn't known as a personality until two thousand five. But prior to that I had sold a site to Yahoo and done licensing deals. So the, even then, the site I sold to Yahoo was a game site that became Yahoo Games. So even in that, I was, my love for games drove my business, which turned into something that was quite profitable. But live video, for those of you that uh, around that question, is it. Live video is the most important thing to happen in social media since we got our iPhones, our smartphones. It's a big deal. Do we have time for one more? Uh, do you have any tips on how to actively cultivate a, uh, a, a mindset of being more young and playful? How to cultivate a mindset of being more fun and playful? What makes you happy? What do you like to do? Do more of that. This, this whole mentality of, you know, many of us grew up with you go to college and you get your degree and you become a professional and then this is the job you work and you work it until you retire. Shoot me now! That never worked for me. I did go to college, although I don't remember much of it. And... Uh, and I did get a degree, though I've never used it. Sorry, mom and dad, never have. And I've always done what my heart has led me to do by following what my interests are and what my passions are. And I think everybody is created so uniquely with passions and talents and skills and abilities and personality that when you take that all and put it in the blender, it comes out unlike anybody else. And so when we decide to appropriate the value that we have to bring that's so unique, you're going to discover what that thing is, and it's going to flow out from you naturally. It's, it's effortless when you're living in that zone, and I refuse to live in another zone. Uh, we have time for another one. Are you doing anything interesting on Twitch? Uh, I'm really not using Twitch, though I am a computer gamer, have been since the beginning of computer games, and anybody playing Overwatch? Right here. Love Let's it. Do it, buddy. You and me. Yeah. Any other uh, questions? We've got time for another one if anybody's got a question. Going once. Going twice. We'll sit, oh, right back there. You got this. Oh! I didn't play basketball. <laughs> Are you using GIFs? Am I using what? GIFs or GIFs? Am I using GIFs? Mm -hmm. Or GIFs? Okay, GIFs, GIFs. Are we still having this debate? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it already. That's so 2009. Uh, yeah, I do a little animated GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them, but mostly live video. You know, I'm, I'm really hooked on Facebook Live, on Periscope. I love Snapchat. Uh, I think Snapchat is going to continue to blow up and be a big thing. And if you're not on it, then great avenue for humor in telling stories. Yeah. Okay, so now you guys are going to do me a favor. I want everybody to stand up. Get up. We're going to get really excited and we're going to get a state selfie. Are we happy? All right, I got to turn the camera around. Are we happy? Thank you all very much.